If you want something done, be ready to roll up your sleeves. That's the mindset that's pushing Nigerian filmmaker Franklin Ufomadu, whose new film is an attempt to correct an unflattering narrative about the Imbe State community in Imo State. Let's bring your report on this. There's been an unflattery age-long saying about the people of Mbise, the community in Imo State, southeast Nigeria. The saying portrays them as being more dangerous than a viper. This saying is what the Chronicles, a movie by Franklin Mufomadu, hopes to address. And so much in the hands of the white man. Yeah, sounds like a good idea, but uh, you go to security, man. Even just in case anything happens. But please, whatever you do, do not fight and be safe, people. They are terrible people. My brother, look, in this whole country, there is nobody that is as wicked as an Ubuse man. The movie sets in three eras pre colonial, during the colonization, and present day Mbise. It follows the origin of what might have transpired that could have caused people to brandish Mbise people dangerous. Ufomadu leads out a number of his cast and crew for a first screening in Lagos, southwest Nigeria. The Chronicles is actually a, a true life event that happened right from the first interaction that uh, interaction that Africans had with the Europeans when they came into Nigeria through Calabar and Opobo till the present day after the um, in 70s when you talk about when you have the advent of the uh, high life music so the story actually expanded through three generations pre-colonial during the colonial and the present day 21st century events <laughs> That adage is the most commonly used adage against an MBC man. But the funny thing is that even the MB, most MBC people that even have heard about it and those that use nobody knows exactly the genesis of that word and who actually said it. So if you want to know who actually made that comment that went viral till today, watch the Chronicles. You will know the truth and you find out that it's actually a misinterpretation of an event. Following the history over three generations was a near impossible task for the makers of this film. They, however, struck luck in finding the right person to chronicle the stories from over a century ago. It took us a good two years to get the story right. You understand? And we are so lucky that the man that narrated the story, after narrating the whole story to us, died three days after. A blessed memory, the man died three days after narrating the whole story to us. But it took the man two years. You know, elderly man now, he was around 130 something years. And you know you don't force him to talk. You go. He talks when he's, you understand, when he's willing to talk. A section of the movie set in the 1970s follows the famed high life group from NBC, the Rental Brothers. Broadcaster turned actor Colin Stalker plays one of the band members. Staring in the same movie alongside veterans like Onyeka Wenu and Shegwan Rize, names he had reported on during his days as a journalist, proves to be a welcome privilege. It, it, it was truly amazing to be with, I call her mama, Lady Onyeka Oweno. You know, she was quite amazing, very accommodating. Legendary Shigwarin, they're very accommodating people. There is nothing with acting alongside an actor that accommodates you, gives you an opportunity to express yourself. That was totally heartwarming. Yeah. But why would you do that without telling me now? Why would you do that? Why can you have come again? 
Didn't we all agree that we'll be putting some of the money in the bank? Cross carpeting across different eras in the movie also required precision to tell the story convincingly. We shot the movie in three states actually. We shot in Lagos, Oyo, and Imo states. Because we went to some of the locations and we were like, okay, let's see if we can create an artificial environment. Actually, we later created some sets. We understand, but you know, if you are creating some sets, you should have an existing set also to just blend it up. Even if you are going to do a set extension, you still need to blend it up, which was what we did. Do you understand? We did that, and majorly, you know, matching the props, the kind of clothes they wear, how they build their house way back. You understand? Some of the challenges, and we tried everything to like Google search how it was being done. Went to the village, see what was, see how it was done in the. We look at the pictures, check some of the archives. You understand? Go to the palace, look at how it was being done way back in the seventies. How it was, how they dress in the pre-colonial era, and some of the things. These are some of the things visitations we made before. We, the Chronicles opens across Nigerian theatres soon.